Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today, I hope, will be an encouragement to those who do love to share the good news of salvation through Christ. As a new Christian, I thought, why do we see Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses going door to door, but rarely see Christians doing the same? As I grew in my faith, I realized that it's not because they love sharing the truth more, but that works is a part of salvation for them. And later I realized that there were groups like the Urban Missionaries Association of Canada that focus on training people to spread the gospel door to door. All I wanted to do when I was first saved was tell everybody about the amazing transformation God did in my life and how Jesus could help them too. I found that Living Waters also had a program for doing door-to-door -door evangelism. They gave a lot of great tips, including script ideas and questions to ask. So I developed a script, then a friend and I started our season of doing door-to-door. -door. Hello, how are you today? I'm sorry to bother you at your home, so I'll make this really quick. My name is Sean and this is my friend Ray. We're part of a training program that cares about the spiritual needs in the neighborhood. We'd like to get some ideas from you about people's spiritual needs. In order to do this, we're going to do a survey that has nine short questions. Could you spare me three minutes and 17 seconds? And hopefully they're gonna laugh and the atmosphere will become a little less tense. If they do say yes, then continue by saying thank you and asking their name. Great. Thanks again, Bob. Now, according to a recent Stats Canada survey, more than 80% of Canadians have a considerable interest in spiritual things. Are you more interested in spiritual things today than you were five years ago? Okay. Number two, do you think that with the increasing violence, poverty, and crime statistics in the world, things are getting better or worse? Thank you. Number three, do you perceive the Creator as the supreme being who watches over you and to whom you will ultimately answer? And regardless of their answer, remember, we're just taking their spiritual temperature at this point. Bob, statistics show that 10 out of 10 people die. Would you agree with that? And hopefully they're going to laugh. You may even want to say something like, that's our sanity question, or that's our trick question. The next question is where we start getting into the heart of the matter. You ask, so Bob, if you died today, do you think you'd go to heaven? And if they don't believe in heaven, you can say, okay, hypothetically, if there was a heaven, do you think you'd go there? Now, if they say no, we're going to jump down to question seven and find out if they consider themselves to be a good person. Because if they don't think that they'll go to heaven, then the chances are they're probably dealing with guilt issues and we're going to be preaching grace to the humble and not law to the proud. But if they do say yes, we'll continue to question six. They think they're good and you say excellent. And why do you think that? Now, if their answer is, I'm a Christian or something to do with Jesus and being born again, then skip to the attendee survey at the end. But... If the answer is, yes, I'm a good person, or something along those lines, then go to question eight and say, may I ask you a couple of questions to see if that's true? If yes, then go through the good test. In our series on how to share the gospel, we have 11 videos that follow in the footsteps of Jesus and give two ways of sharing the gospel, law to the proud and grace to the humble. And this uses the good test and shows you how to use it as well. We also cover many objections and how to deal with those. So if you haven't checked this out yet, please do. But if the person says no and that you can't ask them questions about them being a good person, then we must stop there and move to question nine and say, no problem. But like most Canadians, Bob, you obviously have some interest in spiritual things. I have a small booklet that has been a great help to me and millions of other people. It's called How to Live Forever Without Being Religious. May I give you a copy? If they say yes, hand the booklet to the person and say, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy the book. How to Live Forever Without Being Religious is a great little book done by Ray Comfort and Living Waters and leaves them with God's truth to review in their free time. 
And if they say no in regards to questions on why they think they're a good person, then thank them for their time and give them a coffee coupon or maybe a bookmark with a scripture on it and leave it in God's hands. Now, if they said they were a Christian in response to question number five, then we skip to the attendee survey and we can use this time to encourage a brother or sister in Christ and even pray together. So, this is just one idea for sharing the gospel if you are one of those people with a bit more of an outgoing personality. If you'd like a copy of this script to use or alter into your own language or your own wording, then send me an email at revealingtruth911 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to send it to you. But this is the Great Commission, and we must share the good news to as many people as we can while we still have the freedom to do so. I don't know if this would even be allowed in Canada anymore with the way things are going today. But if you do still have that liberty, then I encourage you to do so. The time is short, and soon this will no longer be allowed. So, We'll leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.